Hi guys, today we are talking about the bunker shot. It was a much requested topic for you guys that I show you some bunker shots. Um, the bunker itself, it's actually a lovely thing because or it's a lovely place to be because in the bunker, it is not so decisive where you hit the sand uh, because you can hit the sand a centimeter or two before you actually wanted to hit it. The ball will still go out as long you have an acceleration through the ball. So you have three fundamentals you need in the bunker. You have to open up the club face to get the bounce in play. You have to accelerate through the ball because otherwise you run danger to get stuck in the sand. And third, you have to hit the sand first, not the ball first. So this is the huge or the biggest difference to all the other shots. You have to hit the sand first. Before I actually go into the shot, I want to explain you the two or the the two parts of a wedge. Now I have I have a 55 here and I have a 60 degree wedge. On both you have a leading edge. You know, it's a, it's the sharp edge, the bottom of the club. So what's the job or what's the duty of a leading edge? The duty is the digging. You don't want to be digging in the bunker. You want to be digging once the ball in a bad position in the rough or around the green, but never in the bunker. Or if it's really plucked in the sand, there you really, you know, if you have a ball like super, super plucked, then you want to have that leading edge in action. But otherwise, if you have a normal ball, eye, you always want to have the bounce in play. So this is the second part of the wedge. It's the bounce. So now you can see on this 55, I have a little bit more bounce played than with my 60. With the 60, it's a little bit more rounder. So not only I need that club if I want to have a little bit a longer bunker shot, I also want to use that club if I have more sand because then the, ball, the, the club can bounce through the sand and by taking this one with a lot of sand, I run danger that it really gets stuck or pretty much goes underneath the ball too much and the ball gets, you know, it just stays in the bunker. That's about the clubs. Now the basics, what you got to do in the bunker. So I drew you a line here and that line supposed to end or go the direction of your front foot's heel. For me, it's my left foot and this is where that line wants to go. Okay, so that ball is sitting left of that line. So it's really far forward. What most of you are pretty shocked about, I guess, because a lot of golfers have the ball sitting way too far in the center of the stands or even right. But I mean, if you want to have like hitting the sand, if you want to hit the sand first, it's absolute nonsense to put the ball back in your stance. That's the total opposite. You know, if you want to catch the ball first, if you have a really bad lie, then the ball position is on the right. But now you want to hit the ground first, so you put the ball further left. So now I have a, a middle distance shot. I think this would be too long for my lob wedge, so I'm going to choose my sandwich with 55 degrees. And um, I'm steering the distance of the ball flight just by the loft. I always try to have the same backswing, the same hand wrist action um, with every bunker shot, as long, you know, you have circumstances like a super high lip or a super long bunker shot with 30, 40 meters, then it's a different story. But if you have a normal bunker shot around the green, I'll try to keep it as regular and as normal as I want it to have it, but just the variation is in the loft. So you, there you can steer the length or the distance of the ball flight. So now I take my stance, ball is sitting left. I also want to sit left. I want to sit on my front heel. I want to be down. So the shorter the bunker shot is, the lower you sit. And why is that? I'm going to show you that now because if you open up that club face and the only way to not really super open your stance for it, you can stand a little bit better if you take your hands down because there you can see the club face by hand, putting your hands down is uh, correcting the, the direction a little bit more. So, but this is just a 
point on top. But one thing is for sure, you want to sit down. You want to be in your knees. And it's not just standing left. It's really sitting, like squatting on that left left side for me. Um, the bank shot to practice is quite of a workout. You know, if you want to sit down all the time and you have to stay low, then it's a real workout. So dare to sit down. So what do I want to do? I want to open up my club face and then I want to grip it in that open position. Please don't grip the club in a normal way or in a straight way and then turn your hands because this won't get you any far because what's going to happen, you're going to rotate your hands back and then all of a sudden you start digging with the leading edge again. So open up the club face in that kind of loft you want to have it and then grip it. I mostly grip it in the middle of the, um, of the grip and I'm sitting down and all I want to do, I want to stay where I am now. I don't want to move laterally. Yeah, I just want to stay there, take the club out and just release it. Let the bounce go into the sand and let the ball fly out. Let's see. It was a little bit long, but you know, I caught it really well. You know, I just caught it a little bit before this, uh, the line. There's not much sand in there, so I could have gone a little bit deeper. But on the other hand, I also wanted to show you what the club face is doing in your follow through. Please don't rotate your hands again. Just watch your club face once you are in the finish, finishing position. It, won't, it would like to be sunny side up. The club face always should look towards the sky. It should not be in a rotation. Just watch it again. That was a much better shot. So. Just look at my club face in the same position. If, if I would, would go back, it would be in that position I address that ball. So now, I mean, there are many things I could tell you, but first of all, you know, start liking that bunker because the bunker forgives you a lot. It's a, uh, once you follow those fundamentals, you will have success. And I really hope I could help you with those now. If you like it, thumbs up, subscribe this channel. And of course you can follow me on Instagram. And now I wish you a lot of fun practicing. Bye.